Hey guys, John Jr. here, bringing you guys the first match of Season 5 of the IBA, the first match for your Eterna City Adno here. We are going up against my good buddy, Ollie. Be sure to check him out down below. His link will be the first thing under the timestamp in the description below. And I am super excited for this match. It should be a live comp, assuming everything goes well. Uh, should be my second live comp uploaded. I don't know if this is going up before my PMU live comp. Maybe not, actually. Maybe not, because uh, I do have two other PMU matches to upload. So maybe this is my first live comp on the channel. And if it is, hello. <laughs> Hopefully, this is going to be a lot of fun. I can get all my nerves out during that first live comp, and I think I'm ready to rock. But uh, please be sure to leave a like if you enjoy. And the question of the day is going to be, who do you think our kill leader will be? My bet is Mega Mawile by a good margin, but if you have a different answer, make sure to let me know down below. But looking at Ollie's team, I think he has probably the third or fourth best team in the IBA. I think we have the second best team. Don't get me wrong. I think the only person who has a better team than us is Jason. But I think Ollie's team is right up there with ours and could be arguably better than ours. Uh, his team, he has Z Garchomp, Fair. Thorn, Swampert, Z Rotom, uh, Licky Licky, Avalug, the Mega Diancy, Reuniclus, Araquanid, Skunk Tank, and Star Raptor. Very, very scary squad, but I do think that he's kind of forced to bring a very particular six. I think he's 100% forced to bring Rotom Heat, otherwise, he kind of loses to Mawile. He doesn't have a switch into Mawile. I think he has to bring Swampert, otherwise, he does not have a switch in for Lycanroc. I think uh, Garchomp and Mega Diancy put a lot of offensive pressure on me. He needs Mega Diancy for Hydreigon specifically. Uh, Garchomp. I guess I could see him bring Staraptor over Garchomp, but I do think Garchomp pressures us very, very much. Um, and then I think he needs Ferrothorn and Reuniclus. I think those two put a lot of defensive pressure on us. I think he'll probably be like a Regenerator set with Reuniclus, maybe AV, something like that, or maybe Colberberry for the potential knockoff from Mawile. I'm not entirely sure. But either way, guys, if you guys are hyped, be sure to let me know down below. And we're going to go ahead and hop into this team builder. So the first mod that we have here is going to be Mega Mawile, Miss Dusa. We're going to have this mod on the team a lot of the times. And the first thing I noticed when I looked at the team that Ollie does have is he doesn't have a player off switching. Rotom Heat, if 252 HP, takes 43 to 51% from this Mawile's play rough. He does not have a Mawile switch, and that is 2 KO'd from play rough if he is no investment. We have enough speed to outspeed, I do believe, Swampert. Let me see here. I do believe that's enough speed to outspeed Swampert, though I didn't write it down, but... Uh, we are Play Rough, Fire Fang, Sucker Punch, Swords Dance. We are Fire Fang for the Ferrothorn, which is his only other resist to Play Rough and then Sucker Punch because Sucker Punch does crazy. If we get to plus two, we do about 60% to Diancy, which is the one mon that we really need some priority on because of Earth Power. Uh, we can live a Garchomp EQ in the Rough Skin after the Intimidate if he is not Life Orb, if he's pr Z preferably, and we can just Play Rough that bad boy. And then we are Max Attack Adamant, and we're ready to rock. I don't know what our Spadef is for. Yeah, we can we can outspeed the 20 speed Swamper because I know Ollie likes to. Oh, Ollie like watch me so I know he knows I speed creep so I'm going to speed creep the creep and then we put the rest in spadef. Next up here we do have Fruit of the Loom and Ollie told me that he is very very scared of this Pokemon and for good reason. Uh, Breloom actually really destroys his team. This is the first time I've ever built with Breloom. I've ever used Breloom in general and I'm really excited for it. We got Swords Dance, Mock Punch, Bullet Seed, Rock Tomb. Uh, we are rocking out with Swords Dance. I didn't know this mon got Swords Dance and it's actually kind of ridiculous how much we how much damage we do things if we get a Swords Dance up. Uh, I think if we can set up a Swords Dance on basically any pokemon that we can kind of just win the game once we get late uh like super late into the match we click swords dance and then we mock punch or a uh, bullet seed or rock tomb every pokemon into oblivion and it's really really cool rock tomb specifically is for like the araquanid and the rotom heat we can outspeed a i believe a little bit of speed rotom we can outspeed rotom outspeeding max speed mawile plus a few or max adam with a little bit of hp uh bullet seed plus mock it's basically everything else i think if we get the plus two we kill diancy or uh we, I, we probably kill uh, Rotom Heat at 252 HP as well, but either way, we are Technician Life Orb, and this mod can kind of win late game. Next up here, we do have Sally the Lycanroc, another Wincon, Fire Fang, Stone Edge, Acceleroc, Swords Dance. He does not have the best Rock and Fire Resist, so um, actually, uh, plus two Lycanium, Lycanium, I think, Lycanium Z, Lycan Z move, uh, does 84 to 100% to Garchomp, so I'm looking to knock out that Garchomp, get a little bit of damage on it, and then we blow it back, and this mod can kind of win once it gets to plus two minus the Diancy, we do have to be kind of careful about that. Uh, we do outspeed, I believe, his base 100s, what do we outspeed? Garchomp. We outspeed Garchomp. That way we can blow it back with the Z Stone Edge. Uh, we went the rest in attack and then rock friendly number of HP. Pretty standard stuff. Fire Fang for the Ferrothorn. And then he doesn't really have another rock resist besides like Swampert. So we gotta make sure Swampert is kind of out of there. But Lycanroc can't touch Swampert anyway. Next up here we're rocking with a Gliscor set that Jason helped me with. Shout out to you Jason. 
Glyscore here walls quite a few of his Pokemon. We can live on HP Ice from the Rotom Heat if max special attack after rocks. We can Oko the Diancie with Earthquake. We have Taunt for the Reuniclus, Roost for Longevity, and Rock Tomb to like Rock Tomb the Staraptor and Roost up on it, Rock Tomb the Araquanid to hit the Rotom that we don't otherwise hit. Uh, make the Garchomp less speedy if he starts to set up on us. Uh, we have a lot of really cool tech, and I think Rock Tomb is actually going to come in clutch so long as we hit it. Hopefully, we don't miss. Next up here we are rocking out with Skarmory, Iron Head, Roost, Brave Bird, Stealth Rock. This might be one of the only times I will ever bring to attack Skarmory. Uh, it's needed to wall the Diancie as well as the Staraptor. We can live two Diamond Swords after Stealth Rocks if max attack. We can live a max special attack Life Orb Fire Blast from the Garchomp. And then I think we put the rest in attack and then we ro we're rocking out with that. We can Oko Diancie too. I'm pretty positive. We can, I, th I think we Oko Diancie always. And then we put Brave Bird on there to not get walled by the Araquanid. Um, although Toxic might have been better just to uh, also do damage to it. Whatever. We went, we went Brave Bird. We went Brave Bird. Uh, it also lets us do damage to the Garchomp. And I think we can break his sub with that anyway. Lastly here, I had the hardest time choosing between Hydreigon and Vimon, but we did end up going with Hydreigon here with Flash Cannon, Draco, Meteor, Dark Pulse, Fire Blast. We could not fit U-Turn, unfortunately. We are a mere 4 speed because it's fast. his features are really, really weird. His Scarfers are Staraptor, which outspeed Hydreigon either way, uh, and Garchomp, which outspeeds Hydreigon either way. If he wants to Scarf Rotom, fine. Hydreigon is here for the Rotom, and it is perfectly fine by me. So we went 4 speed, and we can outspeed the max speed Diancie with this speed investment. Uh, Flash Cannon obviously is going to blow that mom back. We have Draco to drop once that Diancie is gone. Dark Pulse because of the Uniclus specifically, that mom is very, very scary. And then we have Fire Blast over U-Turn. It was a debate back and forth between the two, but we don't have the best things to hit the, uh, the Feral Throne. I want to make sure we have something that can... Uh, hit the Ferrothorn on almost all of our Pokemon. I believe the only Mon that doesn't really appreciate Ferrothorn is our Skarmory, which we could have brought Taunt on, I guess. But uh, other than that, we do kind of just blow that Mon back. And we don't have Defog against Webs, which is really weird. But one, I'm very confident in the fact that he's not bringing a Raconid. And two, I, um, what am, what am I trying to say? I, we, ha we have three Levitating Mons. One of our Levitating Mons is a Scarfer. We have Mawile, who doesn't care to be outsped by anything except the Swampert. We have Breloom, which has priority, and Lycanroc, which has priority. So our team doesn't really care about webs. If he brings them, so be it. Uh, although I think the Trick Room aspect of our team will definitely scare him to not. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and try to set up this match with Ollie. Hopefully, we have a good time. Dude, I got to get my nerves out, and I got to hopefully pick up a dub. If you guys have missed it, we have been on a big losing streak because of the fact that we've had a lot of unlucky plays here recently. I don't think we played bad by any means. Uh, I think we definitely, obviously we make a few misplays, but that's because I'm human. But hopefully we don't get unlucky this game, dude. I want this win so badly. But with all that being said, I will see you guys in just a second with the match. Okay, guys, everything should be good and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and send this challenge to Ollie. Hopefully the quality is fine and no lag this video. And um, good luck to Ollie. Ollie's a good friend of mine. We're on a losing skid. I want to I want to crush that today. I really do want to crush that. We got to remember the game plans. I got my notes pulled up. We are ready to rock. So hopefully uh, we are able to pull out the dub here. I'm probably going to cut this and probably going to see you guys in just a second when this match actually starts. Okay, word. So we are hopping in this battle against Ollie. Uh, I've got my notes up and we're ready to rock out here. It was weird. It disconnected us one time, actually, and I'm not sure why, but we didn't get in the battle yet, so I guess uh, t it's fine, whatever. And it looks like it's in really good quality today, which is awesome. So let me go ahead and pick this team. We've got everything ready to rock, I do believe. Hopefully, I didn't miss Jin because I did just learn how to Jin. Oh, no, the quality looked like it dipped. Nope, the quality's back? Ah, uh, I don't know. We're going to find out, I guess. Uh, let me get some jams going, my friend. How? Actually, you know what? We're going Island Kahuna. We're going Island Kahuna. But anyway, guys, the game plan basically is to get Mawile in positions to where we can claim a KO. He's probably going to leave Rotom Heat because if he doesn't, we leave Mawile and we pick up a KO. That's just how it is. So uh, I really have a hard time seeing him leave anything except Rotom Heat. And if he doesn't bring Rotom Heat, we leave Mawile and I think we get a KO. I think. I'm pretty positive. So we'll see what he brings here. I'm highly anticipating the, um, the Rotom Heat here. Let's see what we got right. We get... The he brings it uh Avalug Avalug over no swamper like rock goes insane. He brought Avalug. Let me see. Pictures gifts. I'm sorry about the lag guys. Avalug. No feral thorn, that's nuts. And instead he brought Staraptor. Understandable. That one's understandable. I did expect Staraptor in some sense, maybe. This is my seventh Pokemon for sure. But that that Avalug, I don't know what that mon wants to do. I don't know what that mon does do. So let me go ahead and write this, these mons down and think about a lead. 
Venoclis. He's got a lead Rotom Heat. I'm positive of that. Staraptor. Or you can lead Garchomp, I guess. But we live one unless he's uh, Life Orb. Rotom Heat. And he's probably figuring that I might be, like, max, um... Diancy Mega. He's probably figuring that I might be max, uh, Bulk in order to live that? I don't know. So, I really think that he's going to lead Rotom Heat. I think we're going to go into Hydra Dragon. I think Hydra Dragon's a very safe lead. Uh, if he leads Staraptor, I think that's what we're going to do. Because if he leads Staraptor, we can lead, um... We can switch into Skarmory. Yeah, I think that's a fair lead. Yeah, and he didn't bring Swampert, so Brelum's going to have a really fun time, actually. Brelum does go crazy. Yeah, we're going to lead We're gonna Hydra Dragon. We're going to see what this boy does. We're going to see what this man does. If he leads Diancy, maybe we'll be able to catch him off guard with a Flash Cannon. I'm not entirely sure. But we'll see what he does here. I really like... Let me let me wipe my screen off. I really like this lead here. Oh, all his character looks actually really dope. I really like his character. Um, let me make sure everything is going smoothly. It looks like it is. Word. Okay, so we lead High the Dragon. And he leads Flubber. That's Reuniclus, yeah? Yeah, he leads Reuniclus. I think I'm just going to Dark Pulse. I don't want to risk anything. Let me see how much damage we do. And let me see if he can Oko us with a Focus Blast, actually. Reuniclus. Why is it lagging so bad? Calm down, bro. Do I have any other applications open? No. Okay. Let me see how much we do with a Dark Pulse to a Reuniclus. Yo, we should do... If he's no Spadef, we do about 75. And he doesn't kill us with a Focus Blast. If he is max Spadef, we do two shots. So, let me look at his team real quick. Um, I think Dark Pulse is a pretty zero downside play. He could go into Diancie. I wish I had U-Turn here, but I don't. I do not. Um, or we could just double out into Miss Dusa Mawile. I think I'm just going to Dark Pulse. I'm not going to risk anything. We're just going to make the obvious play. We're going to Dark Pulse. Uh, if he has Cobra and Focus Blast, then good play on his part. Good prep. But I think this is worth it. And if he goes Diancy, we're probably still doing a good chunk to that Mon. And we we have a good switch into Skarmory right now. Skarmory takes two or whatever that Mon wants to take, unless it's not Timid, which mean or Timid or Naive or whatever the ability it wants to be, uh, which means that we get Skarmory in. So I'm liking this position. I'm liking this position a lot. This quality looks good. It is lagging a little bit, so I apologize about that. Um, Dark Pulse to Diancy, if he's no bulk, should do about 26 if he does switch out here. We click Dark Pulse, we are, he's not Cobra, we do a significant amount, he's offensive it looks like. He used Thunder Wave. Ah, that's our Scarfer, so we did not want that. We did not want that. I'm gonna hard switch into Mawile now, I think. Because I think he's gonna save this Mon. Uh, I don't think he goes Rotom Heat here. If he does, this is our answer to Rotom Heat. I'm just going, I'm going hard uh, Mawile here. I'm going hard Mawile. I think he goes Diancy here. Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave. His death. If he clicks Focus Blast, then good play, I guess. I don't think he'd just sack his Reuniclus off turn two, though. Yo, I don't know why it's lagging. I'm so sorry. We got Mawile in. Uh, he's going to switch out as well. Awesome. Phenomenal. Please go, Ruby. Please tell me that's Diancy. Okay. So, let me see if Diancy can actually kill us from this range. From Fool. Mawile. Diancy. Yeah, it can. Ah, it can. So we're just going to go hard Skarmory. I should have went Skarmory, actually. I don't know why I went Mawile. I don't know why I went Mawile. We're going to go hard Skarmory. He might think maybe we're like some bulk to eat this. I don't know what my thought process was. I was like, yeah, we go Skarmory. I'm sorry, I hit my mic. I was like, yeah, we go Skarmory here, and that's absolutely fine by me. I want you guys to know I almost brought Odd No, just for Heal Belt, too. He withdrew, actually. We could have cooked Playoff and claimed the KO. He went to Rotom Yeet. Okay. So, Diancy doesn't want to stay in on Mawile. That's important information. Doesn't want to stay in on Mawile. Word. Okay. I don't know why it's lagging so bad. That's crazy. Let me try to exit Discord. Put Discord. Maybe that'll make it better. I'm not sure. Uh, I think right here we always go Gliscor. I don't want to overplay too early. Or too much too early. Yeah, we're just going to go into Gliscor here. We're gonna go into Glide Score. We're weak to do his dual stabs. We'll see what he does. If he HP ices, then we'll find out what kind of spread he is. Rotom. Willow. That's a great play, Ollie. That's a great play, bro. That's a great play. <sighs> That's a great play. I'm horrible with Glide Score. I'm so bad with Glide Score. We're gonna double out in a mile while, though. Because I don't see him staying in here. Uh, what does he go into? Garchomp? What's he going to? Staraptor? I don't see him staying in here. We're, we're doubling out in a Mawile. 
We're playing very aggressive this game. That was a good play. Good thing this is not an offensive glide score. Good thing this is a very support-esque glide score. But that does suck because we don't have Toxic War. That was a very good play on Ollie's part. Ah, man, I should have saw that coming. That was that was a that was a misplay. That was a misplay. I should have saw that coming, bro. It's completely my own fault. If he just clicks a fire move here and we lose Mawile, I'm just I'm gonna be in awe. Cause Mawile is how we win this game. Mawile is how we win this game. I think he's gonna switch though. I don't think he's I don't think he has a reason to stay in unless he clicks HP Ice. I think he's gonna overheat. Oh my gosh. I, I clicked that button way too fast. I should have thought more. But I, I'm hungry for Mawile kills, dude. I wanna feed Mawile. I really wanna feed Mawile. I really thought about that. I didn't think about that enough. We switched out first. We are faster than him, I think. Please don't overheat. I'm gonna lose my mind if you overheat. I'm gonna lose my mind if you overheat, Ollie. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm, I'm out of the game. Awesome. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, slower than Gliscor. And he goes into Avalug. What does this Mon do? What does this Pokemon do? Do we just get a click a button here? Let me see how much Mawile's doing to an Avalug. Play worth the 16% to this Mon. That's if he's max max. And he might be Rocky Helmet. What does this Mon do to us? Does this Mon get like... I don't know. I've never seen an Avalug used in my life. Avalug, does it get like fun? What status moves does it get? Category, status. It gets curse, roar, rock ball, sharpen, sub swagger, toxic, white guard. It doesn't look like it's anything to scare me too much. Iron defense. What do I lose here by swords dancing? Hmm. I'm just gonna click. Ha! Ah. What do I lose here by swords dancing? I want Mawile healthy. I think I want Mawile healthy, but I don't have a great switch into this Mon. I think we're going to Swords Dance. We're oh, I, I forgot to Mega! Ah, I forgot to Mega! Yo, if this matters, we might have to replay. Recover, okay. I forgot I forgot to Mega. I'm going to tell him real quick. I forgot to Mega, my bad. Will now. So he's Rocky Helmet is what I'm figuring. Recover, Rocky Helm. Okay, so... I'm gonna click player up this time on his potential switch into the... Yeah, I'm gonna click player up this time on his potential switch into the... I guess not. I was gonna say on this potential switch into the Rotom, but... We'll find out how much this does here. Come on, Miss Dusa. Hit this player up, please. Awesome. That did a ridiculous amount of damage, and he's not going to be um, Rocky Helmet, so he has EQ. That does, like, zero to Mawile. Mawile gets to pick up a KO here. Mawile gets to pick a KO. Mawile gets to pick a KO here. Phenomenal. He doesn't have a switch into this player off. We claim, we claim a Mon here. What Mon are you giving me, Ollie? What Mon are you giving me, bro? So that means he's like no no defense, or at least not bold. If he was max impish. Oh, yo, you know what? No, I'm not cocking level 100. We did like 90. Yo, I don't know why we did so much. Oh, we don't have any, we don't have huge powers. Why? So Mama is going to kill this Pokemon. Let me write that down. Mega Mawile kills Avalug with play rough. Awesome. Awesome. So Mawile picks up. Mawile has two play roughs. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Uh, we kind of have Glide Score sack fodder in the back now. We don't really need Glide Score anymore. Um, I don't. I, I still don't know what Avalug does. He's not Rocky Helmet, but I wrote down Rocky Helmet because I thought he was Rocky Helmet. So looking at his team, looking at the team that he brought and the team that he has left, he does go into Diancie. Uh, I think he's got Earth Power here. I don't think he has the ability to overplay. I could just Sucker Punch here. How much is a Sucker Punch doing to Diancie? Because I know this is some major damage. And what does Chip on this Mon allow us to do? Can we just win with Breloom? No, we cannot. We do 3,000 with Play Rough. Uh, we do like 200. I'm going to switch out into uh, Skarmory. I think Skarmory's my answer to this Mon. Skarmory's... I mean, I did that last time, and I think that's pretty obvious, but... Um, 
So he's probably going to click Earth Power here. If he doesn't click Earth Power, I'm actually going to be in shock. So he is going to Mega. I'll we'll see what he does. If he Diamond Storms, I could have. I think I could have just won the game right there. Which is crazy. We'll see what he does. He Megas. Earth Power. Phenomenal. Okay, so we have a couple options here. What did he switch into an Iron Head? The Rotom? I think I'm getting Rocks up. I think Rocks are the play, because I don't think you stay in on the Skarmory. What would you click if you do stay in? I think Rocks are my play. Or maybe I go Lycanroc. Can I go Lycanroc and Sword Stance, maybe? How much do we do to Rotom Heat? We do a gajillion with Stone Edge. I think I'm just gonna get Rocks up, actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Rocks. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. And he sends in, yep, Rotom Heat. Rotom Heat. So we're gonna find out if this Mon is uh, gonna be his Defogger or not. So we saw Earth Power and Diancie. Earth Power. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch out into. I, I really want to switch out to Mawile. Or not Mawile, um, Lycanroc. I'm tempted, I'm so tempted to switch out to Lycanroc, but I think I'm going to go Gliscor. No, we're going Lycanroc. We're going hard Lycanroc. Does he Willow a Skarmory? I don't think so. I don't think he Willow a Skarmory. This is a tough play. Do I need Lycanroc to win? Looking at his team. Yeah, because of I, I can't risk that. I'm going to go into uh, Gliscor, click Rock Tomb. I'm going to go into Gliscor, click Rock Tomb. We're already burned, so we lose nothing by going into Gliscor here. Uh, if he clicks Defog, then good play on his part. Overheat. I'm glad we didn't go Lycanroc, I think. So we can get a read on this man's set. Yo, he did 50% to this this uh, Gliscor. I think we have to Roost. And if he clicks a button again, we can just go into... Yo, he did 50... He might. He's no offensive, though. We got to click Roost. Not offensive. We're not very specially defensive. If he wants to kill us, then that's great. We actually get into Lycanroc for free, I think. Uh, he could Willow us, but we can just we can just Stone Edge and hit. We can just hit our Stone Edge. So we're going to Roost here on his Rotom. Uh, I think we're in an alright position. I think he might... Maybe he Defogs? Maybe he Defogs? We're going to Roost, and if he does Defog, we're going to go for Rock Tomb. Because he probably thinks that he can't hit us. Or we can't hit him, excuse me. But we do have Rock Tomb in the back. Uh, if he goes... Guard Chomp, that's exactly what we're clicking. We're clicking Rock Tomb. We'll see how much we do. And if he gets behind Sub, we're in a lot of trouble. If he gets behind Sub, we are in a lot of trouble, actually. Because how Dragon can no longer outspeed. Actually, if he gets behind Sub, we might lose if he goes Guard Chomp. Don't go Guard Chomp. That's not what I want to see. Bruce, that's Guard Chomp. Oh, That's not the mod I wanted to see. We're going to Roost. We'll see if he's leftovers. If he's leftovers, so he's sub, I think. Don't be lefties. Wait, we, we got burned first. Yeah, he's not, he's not, I don't think he's sub. If he's sub, do I lose the game? I think I do. I think there's nothing I can do about it. I guess I go Skarmory, and does Brave Bird break sub? I might have just lost this guard chomp. If he's sub. Uh, Brave Bird does break sub. Never mind. So, I think I'm gonna rock to him and lower this man's speed. Dragon Claw. Okay, phenomenal. Dragon Claw. And we hit the Rock Tomb. Awesome. Awesome. So his speed is going to be lowered. He's going to be at minus one. He did about half to us. I think we can roost up here. Because we are faster than this mod now. Is Skarmory Rocky Helmet? We could just go uh, Skarmory. No, it's not. I think I'm going to roost. I think I lose nothing by roosting. Yeah, I think we're going to roost. I, unless he's Scarf, we should outspeed. And if he's Scarf, we find out now. And if he's Scarf, we go Mawai and we click Play Rough. If he's Scarf, we go Mawai and click Play Rough. He doesn't have a switch into this mana, actually. We gotta keep Gliscor alive, too, because Gliscor helps with the, uh, the Staraptor. And we're getting good rock damage on this guy. We're getting good rock damage. And now, even if he gets behind his sub now, we got Rock Tomb up, so I think we should be okay, because we are... We should outspeed with Breloom. Actually, Breloom Bullet Seed should do the trick now. I think if he was sub, he would have clicked it there. He might Z us now, actually. He might Z. I don't know what Ollie's play is, actually. This is a really weird game. The Burn on Gliscor definitely sucks. He's going to stay in. We might see an SD come off. 
but he might. I don't think he outspeeds Mawile anymore. He's ease. Z outrage probably. I don't know if this kills it. Uh, I don't know if Z outrage kill. I think we built to live this. Yeah, we built to live this. We should live this no problem, unless he's adamant. And if he's Z Dragon Claw, he does like sixty ish. Wait, was that Inferno Overdrive? Z Fire. Word. So what's his switch into this then? I think I'm going to Rock Tomb now, now that I know he can't kill us. Uh, he's probably going to switch out into something here. I'm going to Rock Tomb because I don't think he's staying in anymore. And we get the speed drop on something, whatever comes in. Which might very well be the Rotom. No, we connect it. I, I don't know what button he's going to click then. I think he expected Mawile there. We get the speed drop. We'll see what he does. Hidden power? Is that ice? What? We're going to die to burn, aren't we? Yeah. That's weird. Glyscor dies to burn from... Um... Rotom. Heat. Now, what's my play here? Can I go... Um... Let me see. He did, like, 50 to my... Uh, is he special? He's HP Ice. That's actually really cool. So, let me see something real quick. HP Ice. This Garchomp's at minus 2. So, assuming he's max speed, he's at 84. So, Mawile does out speed. Actually, Mawile speed ties. Ooh. I really want to see if we can go Breloom. Fire Blast. Um, I think we can go Breloom. And Swords Dance. No, but we're Life Orb. I think we have to go Mawile, risk the speed tie. I think we gotta go Mawile, risk the speed tie. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go Mawile, we're gonna click Play Rough. We're gonna go Mawile, we're gonna click Play Rough. I'm pr I should have done it faster, because I'm pretty confident that we outspeed this, because I don't think he'd be max speed for anything on my team. Unless he's max speed, which I don't know. If he's max speed, that doesn't make any sense. Because I have no base 101 mons. And he might just give me this Pokemon. Or he might actually, tell you what, I think he gives me Reuniclus. Yeah. So he switches out. Rotom Yeet. This mon's not going to appreciate a play rough. Con nice, we connect it. Yeah. We do a ton of damage. Is he Rocky Helmet? Is he Rocky Helmet? He's not Rocky Helmet. So he might be Aya Papa Berry. So we got to switch this mon out. I think going into triple threat has no downsides, and I think we're going to make a play and click flash cannon. We're going triple threat here. So we took about 50 from that, um, I think he's like 252 HP, I think he's specially defensive maybe? Specially defensive? We switch out. We're going into high dragon. And he has pain split. That's cool, that's cool. So actually... I can no longer click Flash Cannon, I think. I think I'm going to click Flash Cannon anyway. Because what is what is the hardest thing? He can't Pain Split me again. I think I click Flash Cannon right here. He might Defog, though. Let me see how much we do to this Mon. Proton Heat. We have a very difficult time breaking this Mon with this Mon um, Paralyzed. Yo, I think we're I think we're just gonna click flash cannon here. I wish we had U-turn. I think we're just gonna click flash cannon. He might click um Dang dude. We gotta make a play at some point, I think. Well if he goes Diancy, we still have a guaranteed switch into Skarmory. So I'm gonna uh I'm gonna Draco actually, I think. But then he could just paint split the I think I'm gonna Dark Pulse. I'm gonna Dark Pulse. I'm gonna Dark Pulse. Full switch. Oh, if he goes Diancy, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be livid. I'm gonna be livid that we did not click that button. So we've seen Volt switch. He might sack off Reuniclus. Pain split. He might sack off Garchomp actually. Volt switch. Pain split. Ah! Volt switch. Pain split. Overheat. I don't think he has a uh, way to remove hazards. Yo, that did some damage, Loki. We gotta switch into Skarmory though. We're to the point to where I'm pretty positive that if we ever get an opportunity to set up a sword stance with Breloom, we win, though. How much damage do we do to Star Unless he's Intimidate Staraptor. Let me see how much damage we do to Staraptor with a plus two uh, mock. 
And what do we set up a plus a sword stance on? Guard chomp, I, it has to be. I'm, I think. Yeah, plus two mock punch runs through Star Raptor unless he's intimidate. No, even if he's intimidated, we have a 50% chance to Oko. And with rocks, we have a 100% chance to Oko. So we're going to switch out here, and we're going to see what he does. I've been making this play every single time. I have no other play. We'll see what he does. He was Diamond Storm. This should never two-shot us. Should never two-shot us, yeah. Awesome. So I've got a couple of plays here. Rotom Heat is going to be at a low amount of health after this if he switches in here. So I'm just going to click Iron Head. I think I lose nothing in clicking Iron Head. Um... If he goes Rotom Heat, great. If not, then we get an Iron Head off. And we should be able to kill Reuniclus with Brave Bird on the switch in. I'm going to click Iron Head. I'm just going to make a simple play. Simple play. Diamond Storm. Diamond Storm. I'm just going to make a simple play. Simple play. He switches out. Rotom Heat. Flubber. Okay, we should be able to kill this with Iron Head and the Brave Bird. Oh, that's a problem. That's indeed a problem. I have Papa Berry. Can we get just go Mawile now? We did like 25% to that with uh, Iron Head. Skarmory. Uniclus. I don't know what button he would click on us though. I don't think he's very physically defensive. Otherwise that would have... He's, I think he's offensive. He might be offensive Trick Room. If he sets Trick Room for Mawile, that'd be great. How much does he do to Mawile? Huge power. I think he's got to recover here if he has it. But he's Aya Papa, so I don't think he would uh, be it. Do we need High Dragon for anything? Do we need High Dragon? I don't think we need High Dragon. I really don't, because we're, we're paralyzed. We're kind of useless. I'm just going to go hard High Dragon, and we're going to see what he does. I don't think he clicked a Psychic move here. Uh, he might click, like, Focus Blast or something. I don't think this Mon gets a Thunderbolt. We don't need High Dragon at all. Um, and I think we should still outspeed this Mon. He clicked Recover. Phenomenal. I'm just going to click Dark Pulse, because even if he goes into the Diancie, it's getting whittled down uh, every time it comes in, and it's getting just really, really close to where we can win the game. So I'm just going to click Dark Pulse. So it does have Recover. Recover. Uh, and it might be Offensive. We click Dark Pulse. We're going to connect it. We do a good chunk to that Mon. And he clicks Focus Blast, and he hits it. So Reuniclus is going to kill uh, High Dragon, I do believe. Reuniclus kills High Dragon with Focus Blast. That's fine. We're actually going to go... I think we're going to go hard Mawile. Uh, or we can go Breloom. I think we just go hard Mawile and we can just click a button. I lose nothing by doing that. We're going to go hard Mawile. We're going to just click... We're going to click Player Off. We're just going to go Mawile. We're going to click Player Off. He has to give us a Pokemon here. I do believe. We're just going to go Mawile. We're going to click Player Off. He might go Rotom Heat here. His Rotom Heat is a really good check to us. I don't know. Oh. And we connect it. Let's go, Mawile. Mega Mawile kills Reuniclus with... Reuniclus... With play rough. Uh, if he goes Diancie, I think I'm going to make a play. Because what do I need this Pokemon for now? If he goes Garchomp, I think I'm going to click Sucker Punch. If he goes... How much do I do to start? Oh, I'm sorry. I keep hitting my mic. If he goes Staraptor, how much do I do with Sucker Punch with huge power? Staraptor. Uh, Sucker Punch is 62 to 73. So, not in range yet. But we can keep Mawile around. This mom puts on so much pressure, bro. So much pressure. Uh, how much do we do with Garchomp with Player Off? I'm, I'm just going to click it if he has it. Uh, I'm just going to click Sucker Punch if he goes Garchomp. We do like 43. I don't know what percent Garchomp is at. Garchomp might be a lot higher than that. I don't remember. Um, if the Archon's higher than that, I might not. I might just click a button on Diancie, to be honest. He goes Rotom Heat. I'm, I'm getting significantly less switchings to this Mon. I think he's going to Willow here. I have, I literally don't have a switching. I got to go Lycanroc. I think he Willow is here. I don't think he loses anything by clicking Willow. I don't think he loses anything by clicking Willow. I think I've got to go Lycanroc, though. And click Z. Yeah, I've got to go Lycanroc. I might be able to win the game if I get a Sword Dance up with Lycanroc, actually. But he, he loses nothing by clicking Willow here. I just have four monsters that are weak to Rotom Heat left. Is the only problem. I knew this was going to be a problem. Click Willow. Go ahead. Yep. Yep. Miss. Nope. So, Willow. 
Uh, how much do we do to Diancie with a, uh, a Stellar Rock? Because Lycanroc, if I think if we get a uh, Lycanroc to Diancie, Diancie, uh, Stellar Rock does like 30. Uh, we have to Swords Dance here, I think. We're gonna Swords Dance here. We're gonna Swords Dance here. I don't think we lose anything by Swords Dancing. I think we can win this game with Brelum. We just have to find an opportunity to get a sword stance. It's got to be the Garchomp, right? Like, the, if, if he goes Garchomp here, I'm clicking the like and Z. We're going we're gonna to go into Brelum. And we're going to try to win this game. Switches out into what? Bruce. We're going to click like and Z. We're going to let him kill us. Um, Z, Stone Edge. He might also bait the, the Z move. Hurt by the burn, that's okay. And this also puts the Garchomp in range of where we can kill this mod. We're clicking Z Stone Edge, Splintered Storm Shards. I gotta block this out with something, I don't know with what yet. We're clicking Splintered Storm Shards, and we're gonna do probably about 50 to this mod. You guys probably can't see anything right now, but we're clicking the Z move. Oh man, this animation looks so cool. I'm, I'm gonna have to block this out, or I'm gonna get copyrighted. Crazy. We're just gonna go for it. Splintered Storm Shards, yes sir. Looks like it froze a little bit. Okay, so, basically, I think we can win the game right here. If we go Breloom. Depending on if this man is Fire Blast or what his, um, what his fire move was. If his move was... Ha! He already busted out the Fire Room Z. And he's in range of a Sucker Punch, either way. Oh, we did, a ton we did actually a lot of damage there. We did, like, 50. We got, like, a max roll. He's gonna click Earthquake, and he's gonna kill our Lycanroc there. That's completely fine by me. Because now we just go Brelum, and we Swords Dance, and I think we win. Actually, I'm going to do a risky play here. I'm going to go Mawile, because he's going to think I have Sucker Punch. I'm just going to go Mawile, and I'm going to click Play Rough. And if this doesn't work, because otherwise... I'm going to go Mawile and click Play Rough, because I haven't shown Sucker Punch, so maybe he doesn't think I have it. But I'm just going to go Mawile and click Play Rough, without even thinking about it. Garchomp. He just kills us. Garchomp kills Lycanroc with EQ... I don't understand why he did that, but Garchomp kills Mawile with EQ. I don't know why he didn't... He died to a Sucker Punch. I don't get that. Okay, we're gonna go Brelum, we're gonna Swords Dance. We can still win this game. We've got a Swords Dance here. Do we? Yeah, we've got... Yeah. We've got a Swords Dance. And we'll see what he does, I guess. If he switches out, we win the game. Regardless... He made a really good Willow play earlier in the game. I think if he wins, it's because of that. He made a really, really good Willow play. I shouldn't have risked Mawile there. I didn't. Th I thought he would think that I had Sucker Punch. That's ah. I don't understand why he just clicked Earthquake. We could have killed the Garchomp there. What does he need Garchomp for though? Use Dragon Claw. I don't know if Rough Skin plus Life Orb how much that does to us. We just click Mach Punch a bunch now, and we hope, we hope, we just click Mach Punch a bunch now and hope. Man, if I wasn't Life Orb, actually, we Mach Punch, Breloom kills Garchomp. Breloom kills Garchomp with Mach. We got, I think we have two Mocks left, so he's got to choose his Mon to leave alive to kill um, Skarmory. So Garchomp's down. I think we've got two mocks left. If we've got three, we win the game. I'm not entirely sure how much we have left, though. 22 out of 141. We've got two. We've got two, so we got to make them count. We've got two, so we got to make them count. Ah, this is going to be some mind games. Whatever he goes here, I'm clicking Mock Punch, and I think I have to switch to Skarmory the next time. That way, we still have Mock Punch on the Rotom Heat. I think that's the only way I win this game. Because he's a smart player, he's going to preserve his Rotom Heat to beat Skarmory. Yeah. And Mock Punch does about 45 to 53 to him. I Mock Punch one time, I switch out into Skarmory, not a phase. Don't be intimidated, bulky Star after for whatever reason, or we lose automatically. That's it, that's game. I think we lose automatically. Raptor. 
Um, plus one. Actually, no, we don't. Because I forgot rocks. We mock punch again. He withdrew. Please sack Rotom Heat. Ruby. So he gives us this mom. Prelum kills Diancy with mock punch. If he goes Rotom, it's a tough 50 50, bro. If he goes Rotom, I gotta get the 50 50, right? Mmm. Because Skarmory can deal with the Star Raptor. Brolum can deal with the Rotom with Mach. He's not staying in. He's not staying in here. I'm switching out. He's not staying in here. I have I lose nothing by switching out. Wait, he has to. Uh, no, I lose nothing by switching out unless he goes hard in the Rotom. I've got it. I've got to do this. Oh yes, 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 yes. Unless he's like insanely slow to Raptor. Yes, dude, I think we won. I think we won. We're gonna roost because I think if we roost, we cannot lose this game. Right? How much do we do to Rotom, Skarmory? How much do we do to Rotom? We do 18%. That's not enough. If I'm a man, I switch out there, but he switched out. Rotom Yi. If I was a man, I should have switched out there. Hmm. I've got to hope for an overheat miss, I guess. The only way I won that is if I switched out there. Gosh dang it, bro. Willow? <gasps> Why are you Willow? Yo, I think we just won! Yo, I think we just won! Oh my gosh! I don't know why he Willowed. He clicks Pain Split. I forgot about that part. I forgot about that part. Dang, I threw. Ha! Ah, I'm so frustrated. I keep losing, bro. <sighs> GG, Ali. GG, bro. I don't see any way. Unless he, like... No, there's no way we win this game now. Because Berlin dies to Life Orb. I had to switch on the Pain Split. I don't know why he doesn't just click Overheat. He wins the game if he just clicks Overheat. He won the game forever ago if he just clicked Overheat. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. It's gonna be a 1 0. Yo, if I go into. Why is he not clicking overheat? I don't understand. I'm so confused why he's not going overheat. Did he not have overheat? Did I, did I mess up? I'm gonna roost, I guess, this time. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't do that in the first place. He went, he won by just clicking overheat because Brelin dies to life orb. Yeah, because there's no way we avoid life orb damage. We gotta go Brelin, we just click mock punch and we claim a KO, but we also die. Awesome. So, Rotom kills. Let me write, let me type this out. Mock. Rotom kills. Yeah, we kill it. Kills, uh, what's its face? Um, I can't even think of the Pokemon he killed. Kills Skarmory with Overheat. Breloom kills Rotom with Mach. Breloom dies to Life Orb. Okay, so GG to Ollie. We're going to lose there 1 0. Uh, that was a. I think we lost once he hit Willow with Swangali score. I really do. Like, I think that phased me. I think that we automatically save video. I think we automatically lost once that happened. Like, I, I think that I was really, really behind. Like, mentally. I was mentally really behind. But GG to Ollie.
We are going to lose again, and thank you guys so much for watching. And for now, guys, this has been John Jr. signing off.